it's done. This is it. This is the 7.28B tier list, and let's just dive into it. No intros. Let's not waste your time. It's precious. Okay. So, S tier. S tier, let's just break down what the tiers mean. S tier is obviously overpowered. These heroes will be nerfed a thousand percent. Uh, a tier is just amazing heroes. B is like bread and butter tier, just really good heroes. C is average. D is situational to bad. And F is you're not trying to win. Like if you pick these heroes, it's just trash tier. You're not trying to win, no way. This tier list is designed pretty much for high level pubs. It's not exactly for captain's mode. It's not exactly for pro play. It's pretty much for like, you know, high 6k and up at least. So, S tier, let's break into it. Puck. Puck is barely got nerfed. So we were literally just talking about this. We lost, uh, we pretty much lost a game of the uh, the DPC qualifiers because we were trying to play around Puck Dream Coil cooldown and there is no Puck Dream Coil cooldown. That's the thing, right? 60 seconds of max level is what it was. Now it got nerfed to 70. It's 10 more on all levels. I barely felt that. Like, who really cares? Puck is for some reason really versatile. He can play support, offlane, middle, um, and it, the build too. Like you can go right click puck, which you know. Imagine saying that like five years ago that you can go right click puck and it's good. Yeah, amazing hero. Nyx assassin. He got hit with the exact nerf I thought he would be. Um, the shard movement speed was excessive. You couldn't be stunned. It unlocked your like you could be stunned, obviously, but like it was so hard to to lock down a Nyx because he's going to be invisible. You have to have OBS and Sentry vision of him. The guy is just like way too nimble. Mana burn does so much damage. The you know everything else is pretty much the same. It's mostly like the ultimate and uh, Dagon now that allows you with the shard. It allows you to like one shot so many heroes because the shard reduces their magic resistance. And then boom, you, your team, break. That's another big thing is Nyx's break is kind of underrated. Like, it's a really big deal, and it means that you can kill heroes like Tidehunter that previously you couldn't really hurt very bad. And then we got Marana here in S tier. Marana is hugely picked at the top of the pubs right now. And just like some of these, uh, just like this Puck is super versatile. She, uh, you're going to have to forgive my breathing, guys. I'm, I'm asthmatic. Um, she is like a good one and two now before you could do it like you didn't want to do one but now you can do that because the shard is probably the best shard in the game just 150 percent crit on your uh on your leaps that's the most value 1400 gold you can buy in the game like bar none and then we got timber saw timber saw i was shocked to see him get so many buffs into the patch and he's he, j he just got hit with the most minor nerf ever in uh 7.28 b just 10, per 10 more mana cost on Whirling Death. And even got another buff to Flamethrowers. This Flamethrower is like really legit now. The slow is is relevant for sure for a Timber because uh, you don't have any built-in disable at all on Timber. So it helps you hit your other skills that are kind of skill shots. And uh, the damage alone from the Flamethrower is, is pretty, pretty impressive. You still wouldn't go it early, like pretty much never. But you definitely have that option. Especially against, let's say, like a TA who otherwise stops your damage very well. Flamethrower, you could melt that instantly. And then we have Troll Warlord. Probably the new best carry in the game. Before this was Monkey King, but Monkey King got hit with some very significant nerfs. And now I'm going to put Troll, because Troll was untouched. Troll was already amazing. Probably not S tier, but I think that he will become S tier now. Because items that he bought were not nerfed, and items that you, uh, that you were seeing commonly, like Orb of Corrosion, that might have Cause you a little bit of trouble in lane. Things like that were nerfed. Falcon Blade got buffed. You can do Falcon Blade on Troll. Uh, but that, I mean, that's kind of irrelevant. The, the big thing is this Ags. His Ags is crazy, dude. Like, you cannot buy Ghost Scepter against this guy. You cannot, because that's what the throwing axes do. You're going to purge off Ghost Scepter. You're going to purge off Ogre Bloodlust. All these big common buffs. Even like a whole Spirit Breaker... Uh, bulldoze, all these things are just removed instantly. It's kind of crazy. And then dispelling yourself, certain heroes, you're just, <laughs> you're so sad, dude. It's just like game over. Like Slardar, it was already hard counterpicked by Troll, and then now it's like, just get Ags, and what are you gonna do to me? P 
Pango, I've seen it be insane against Pango, so you can't get disarmed. The Ags is just god tier. Battle Fury, I cannot believe Battle Fury was not nerfed. I cannot believe it almost. Battle Fury is great, but if you don't want that, you can play faster pace with Mjolnir. That is a great item on Troll now too, so. Probably the best carry in the game. Then we got A tier. Beastmaster. Beastmaster might end up still being S tier, but... Losing 2 damage, he lost some damage before this in patches as well, so it kind of hurts, but he, he very easily could end up going uh, still in S tier because the boars are so strong. The But let's say you first pick your Beastmaster. Then the enemy responds with Crystal Maiden, Witch Doctor, something to punish your boars. Well, nowadays, maxing axes is not terrible. They really buffed those axes. So you don't feel bad about delaying your uh, your boar and maxing that second. You really don't feel that bad about it at all. And the Necrobook also in 7.27 was pretty significantly buffed. Now it was hugely nerfed before that, but it is starting to get some buffs back, giving uh, auras, and you love auras. You love auras on beasts because you have a whole army. Underlord is just like the god of low tier pubs. Maybe at high tier he's B tier, but because uh, he's he's got a, a really long list of bad laning matchups, but he's also got a long list of good ones too. And I really like his new talents with the Firestorm Wave Count and the Firestorm Cooldown. It makes holding high ground with this guy really nice. Bat Rider, I put Bat Rider down in A now. He was an S back when you could do this crazy ancient stacking and instant clearing, but I have gone ahead and knocked him down a tier. Essentially, the Sticky Napalm has no... It used to do only half damage, now it does full damage to creeps. But that was reverted for Ancients. Only Ancients, so he farms way faster than he used to. But let's not forget, his laning is way worse now, guys. They they really hurt the scaling and turn rate and damage. Everything about Sticky Napalm in early levels is way, way worse. So I I do not get that scared when I see Bat Riders. And if it's an early Bat Rider pick, then there's like a whole host of good purges you can buy against him. I, I do not, you know, I do not, I'm not quaking in my boots when I see Bat on like a puff or something. Then we got Earth Spirit. All the spirits are going to be A tier. Way too mobile. Mo mobility is just always going to be so good. We're not going to go over every hero. We'll be here forever. But I just want to say all the spirits in general are here. We've got Naga and TB, two amazing illusion carries right now. Monkey down from S tier after taking some significant nerfs to, uh, Minus one damage is like, okay, that kind of hurts. But losing some power on the Aghanims definitely hurts. Before that, he lost power on the Aghanim Shard. So, I think that uh, I think that Monkey will no longer be the best carry in the game. But we will see. Mars is somehow still here. I don't know how... Like, Mars did get nerfed. He did get nerfed coming to 7.27, but... Or 0.28, excuse me. But, he also got buffed in ways too. Like, especially now, he's a, an okay carry in mid, because this Aghanim Scepter is crazy, crazy, crazy. Try that out if you've not already. A bit of a surprising inclusion might be Bounty and Ricky. These heroes are very nice right now. Ricky did just take an incredibly minor nerf, but then also got a big buff to the to the Shard with this Sleeping Dart. So I don't think it hurt Ricky at all. And then Bounty Hunter has is, is gotten a really, 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 really high win rate, and I, uh, I think this hero feels uh, really good right now. So... I'm going to go ahead and throw them into the A tier. Now we have B tier, which are your good heroes. Uh, we have Wraith King knocked down here. He's taken a lot of nerfs uh, for sure. And his late game is, w is way worse than even the, the old Wraith King now, I would say. The, the guaranteed crit in the ultra late game is not as good as this big 15%, 3.5 times crit that he used to have. But uh, his landing feels way better. Last hitting is so easy with the uh, on cooldown crit, but this is a bit of a brave prediction. We will see. It will probably continue to be uh, amazing in low tier, but I'm not, I'm not like super loving it for high tier anymore. Then we've got Shaman. Shaman climbed up a lot from, let's say, D tier in 7.27. He has one of the best shards in the game. And other than that, the buffs have been pretty pretty tiny, but it just seems like a more favorable meta for him. Like, look at all these things that you have to stun. There's a lot of things you have to stun. Like, otherwise, how are you catching all these spirits and their, these Rickies? Compare it to, like, back when Mars was, like, the best hero in the game. It's like, you know, okay, whatever. Like, it's not as big of a deal to have to stun Mars and uh, 
other things like Dark Seer is like, okay, whatever, Hexingham doesn't matter. He still had haste back when those guys were the best heroes, back when Venomancer was like the best offlaner practically. It's like, okay, nobody really cares. But I think the meta is just formed around him really nicely. Also the best shard in the game. Also another buff to his ulti. Then we've got Vengeful Spirit. Vengeful Spirit is very, very, very flexible right now. You can play her in any position. Any position. I will say four probably feels the worst, but you can play her in any position. Her Aghanims is amazing. Uh, you have to go Ags on her no matter what. Even if you're position five, I would say still try to go for the Ags. Maybe like one small item, but even if you're position five, I would try to go for this Aghanims. It's like a built-in TP. It's like an Aegis. It's, it's just crazy. And uh, playing her as an offlaner feels really nice as well for me because you can uh, be this really huge aura god that is just not even worth killing. It's, it's super not worth killing you because you just instantly respawn. Spirit Breaker has risen up quite a lot. Good shard, good aghanims. Um, again, more heroes that you have to stun, I would say. But not super good against these S tier heroes. Definitely not for the most part. PA, uh, PA has been nerfed. So when the when 7.28 came up, came around, PA was buffed, and I was correct. PA was already A tier, but she was maybe even S tier at the beginning of the patch because she took 5% loss to her evasion talent, but whatever. MKB got destroyed. MKB is like horrible, horrible now, and that is amazing news for PA. Her talents got buffed. I don't know why, but her talents got buffed. Like, yeah, the blink range one got nerfed, but it, the, the crit at 25 now is insane. That one is so good. And the meta, I feel like, for PA was was really nice. These heroes like Lycan, these heroes like Monkey, and even uh, Troll, to some extent, are not good against you. So she was uh, she was feeling really good, in my opinion. But she's gotten another another nerf. So I think she's uh, appropriately placed here. Io, of course, like a hero that always like has a low win rate, but is uh, really nice in uh, high tier because, again, flexible now. Core IO, way better than it was before. Support IO is worse, but it's, it's you know it's still good. Like it's still always an option, and um, it's not always worse because now the overcharge amps magic damage. So like hello gyrocopter Luna, these things got so much better. We got C tier. This is like your average heroes. You might be surprised to see both Life Stealer and OD in here. I think that these heroes have been buffed enough that they're now fine. So Life Stealer has gained six damage. Over the course of these patches, that's a big ass deal. He is a different hero now, though, than what he has been in the past. So here's here's the deal: he's much more late game oriented now on this LS. But if you get there, this hero is really really terrifying. Because let's let's think about what we lost, right? So we lost attack speed on Feast. That was really painful. I'm not gonna lie. And we got this really kind of garbage passive, but you still need to take it because it's what gives you the attack speed now. However. That passive has been, bu been buffed, Feast has been buffed, Rage has been buffed. Your Aghanim Scepter, it's still terrible, but it's way buffed like in the late game. Like it's actually good in the Giga late game, like if you have Rapier, Daedalus, things like that. So in Ultra late game, the Ags, and the Ag Shard is a really good Ag Shard as well. It's basically giving you back open wounds with very, very little downside. In some ways it's better than the open wounds of the past, and in some ways it's worse. But being able to buy like 4 points in open wounds... For only 1400 gold like dude I'll, I'll take that any day and also his items still way better right now armlet huge buff mjolnir huge buff abyssal blade still a great item so i think ls is fine right now am on the other hand uh took some pretty hard nerfs going to the patch he used to have four percent mana burn now it's like 3.4 yeah I, I i don't love it his win rate's really low at high well pretty darn low not super low but Definitely low at high tier. Medusa does have an even worse win rate at high tier. However, I think with a coordinated team, I think Medusa is very good. So, I think that this hero is fine. Clinks still continues to have a high win rate in low in low tier, but this hero is really rare to see. I just don't think it's good. I don't know. It keeps taking so many nerfs. All the synergy with it has been super nerfed, like with Enchantress and Chen and all that. Don't like it. Uh, his shard is insane, though. I will say that. Um, really amazing shard. And, you know, it still can solo carry in the right games, but I don't feel like the right game comes along very often. 
We've got Gyrocopter, who's probably coming up with tier or two. He is, you know, he's all right. His items feel a lot better. Aghanims with the Mjolnir. The Mjolnir feels so much better. Gleepnir is a very good option as well for him now, too. SNY is an option compared to what it was before. And yeah, Satanic might be worse, but it did just get buffed with point, uh, point B here. And again, better pairing with Io, stuff like that. Grimstroke got big buffs. This hero was definitely really bad before because it required so much coordination, like excessive coordination in picks and play. But this ink over shard now, don't sleep on it. This ink over shard is super good. Just make sure you're picking ink swell synergy with it. Then we've got uh, some, some fall from grace type heroes like Zeus. Zeus took a lot of nerfs, a lot of nerfs. And I think he's like counter pick only now. Still, yeah, he might even be D at, at the absolute highest tier because you can only really play this hero mid right now. And he doesn't win many matchups. He loses most of them, so might even be worse. Snapfire, please stop pretending with Snapfire mid. It was not even good to begin with, and now it's trash, trash, trash. So this hero is only a support now pretty much. I had it at the very bottom because I was considering it for D tier. Now with D tier, at the start of it, we've got Huskar and Meepo. That's because these heroes, while still like bad and very situational, are still amazing as last picks. If you have the right game, they are still amazing. They've been buffed compared to last patch, so if you're a big player of these heroes, if you have the right game, by all means, like go for it. Same thing with SD and Witch Doctor. These heroes overall are bad, but in the right game, they're st they're really really good. SD is uh. Yeah, he got that big buff that your Shadow Poison can't be purged anymore. That's really good. But the Aghanims got nerfed, so you can't cast multiple on people and then just one-shot one, one -shot them. So Core SD is like completely out the window, basically, because you can't do the one-shot cheese with the Ags. And then Witch Doctor, he just has, a bad, just has a bad win rate, and he's just... Like, this is a hero that's great against noobs and then terrible against pros, because all of his spells almost can be played around. I don't like to shard... The items that he wants to buy are all super nerfed, at least for me. Um, like Mechanism. Yeah. Glimmer even is nerfed. Force. Not recently, but like over time has been quite nerfed. So. But you have the right like strength offlaner with a killing carry. Still a great hero for sure. The rest of these, no. Not, not good heroes. Uh, Sven Inspector got super dumpstered. Necro got no buff coming into the patch. I can't believe that. Magnus got fairly dumpstered. Yeah. DK. I continue to hate this hero. I really don't like this hero. Some people are big fans of it, but I think it's trash. Razor is not trash anymore, though. Razor is actually viable. Still, still very situational. But uh, in the right game, it can be good. It's just that the right game comes along very, very rarely. And then let's talk about the fun tier, aka the trash tier, aka F tier. Warlock. He's amazing at low tier. And his trash at high tier. Same thing. Spells can all be played around, and he can be played around by laning setups as well. The only thing he does is enable your carry. He heals your carry and makes the lane easy. But he doesn't get kills. He has no ability to farm. His talents used to be amazing, and now they're trash. He can only play five. He's shoehorned into one role always. And yeah, like what if, <laughs> like what if, uh, what if they just lane one person against you? Then your heal doesn't matter. Something like that. And purges just completely murder your best spell in the uh, fatal bonds. I hate it. I hate warlock. Then we got techies. Ah. Uh... I want to say, like, if you're a good techies player, you can still pick this, and it's, it can still be pretty good. But I think it's more of, like, a mental block with the techies players, you know what I mean? Like, most people who pick techies don't want to win, it feels like. But if you're the right player, it's still fine. Which is why, this this tier is an order, by the way. F tier is an order. So Warlock is the best F tier hero, followed by techies. Then followed by Tiny. You might be surprised to see Tiny here, but... This hero is murdered as a support when they reduce the combo damage. Absolutely murdered. Um, and then in exchange, they gave him more right-click damage. Stop. Right-click Tiny is not a thing. 
It only lasts for five hits. Until you fix that, the hero is not going to be good. Pudge. I don't need to say anything about this, do I? Again, like, they, they gave him some buffs in this patch, but then they also hit him with some nerfs. So it's like, what are they trying to do? Just make him a little bit better. You don't have to nerf him at the same time. It's okay. Like, it's the face of Dota. It doesn't have to be so bad. And then Sniper. Another hero that got hit with a bit of a buff. But then it also got hit with nerfs to its agi growth. So it's like they're trying to bring back support sniper, especially with this concussive grenade. But if you want to bring back support sniper, just give him his shrapnel damage back. Or his ulti damage, or, or like anything. Or his aghanim stun. Duration. Something. This hero is so garbage, it has like the worst reward rate in Immortals, like 33%. It's something pathetic. Yeah. It's just unviable in the extreme. Like... Would you rather have Sniper mid, or Storm Spirit, or like any spe literally any spirit? Like, these mids are all just getting on you and killing you. Puck. How are you ever even hitting a Puck with Sniper? You will literally never land your ulti. It's just like, man, it's bad. It's just sad. So, I hope you liked the video. Let me know what your opinions are on this tier list. I'd very much like to uh, hear them. And uh, I will see you in the next one.